Well hello there and welcome back you lovely lot. Today we've got a simple but very effective, in my opinion, design for you. We're going to be using CJP. The core powder is Fantasy, which is one of their new core powders and I absolutely love it. It is turning into one of my favourites, to be honest, as well as coconut milk and a pre-mixed um, acrylic glitter called Supernova, which again, I always reach for that one. It is a bit of gorgeous, I've got to say. So to start this design, I'm doing a smile line on the ring finger. I've come in with some uh, fantasy and faded out the back of that bead so that we don't get any shadow in. I then push it out to the left and the right and then use the belly of my brush on those side walls to get the shape that I'm looking for. And then the tip of my brush around the curve at the top. I will come in and file that later. So I keep working on that until I'm happy with the shape. Make sure I've got that little wall all the way round. And then I will come in with the cuticle bead. So I place that at the cuticle, clean my brush and then go around, tuck it in and then swipe it down. And then double check around that smile line to make sure that that bead hasn't put it out in any way. And then once I'm happy with that, I'll leave that to set up. I'll come back and file it later like I said. And then it's time to go on to the little finger where I'm going to come in with the coconut milk, place that at the cuticle, tuck it in, round to the right, swipe it down, middle and round to the left, swipe that down, make sure that it's not on those side walls or that cuticle area, not touching the skin at all and then I'll leave that to set up. And then I'm going to go on to the middle finger. This is going to be an ombre. So I'll go with that coconut milk at the top. Feather that back so that it's nice and thin. If you leave that and that becomes too thick, you will not get the nice smooth ombre that you're looking for. So I always do that first and then work on the tip. Now I'm going to go back to the little finger and here is that beautiful pre-mixed glitter from CJP, it's called Supernova. I absolutely adore this glitter, it goes with everything. It's amazeballs guys. If you don't have anything else, you definitely need this. So that's going to be an ombre on the little finger and then I'm going to do a full finger of Supernova on the pointer. So I'm just going to come in with another me bead, <laughs> mead, what the hell's that? I'm going to come in with another bead and just make sure that's nice and opaque before finishing off this ombre. So I'm coming in with fantasy, look at that gorgeous colour, fade the back down so we don't get a line when we come in with our cuticle bead and then pull down the front of that bead. Once I'm happy with that and then I'm going to come in with the cuticle bead. Pop that down, wipe my brush, push the bead out to each side before then coming back in and tucking it into that cuticle, making sure my brush is between the skin 
and that product before finishing off that beautiful ombre. Then I did file the smile line before coming in with coconut milk, which I will then pop down, doing the tip and those side walls, pushing it right down, making sure it's up against that wall. Now I do hand file this practice hand. This is the Glamalys practice hand. I don't get the e-file out. Silicon tends to attract all the dust. So uh, it's easier for me to pull the tips out and use a hand file. So although I try not to go over smile lines and colour blocks and things like that, I don't like making more work for myself. If it goes over slightly, I'm not bothered. I just try not to where I can. So here I am showing you the white acrylic. Any acrylics that's really pigmented, it's easier to work that bead if you don't play with it straight away. Pick it up, wait for that orange peel to go nice and smooth, and then place the bead down and pop it where you want it. Anyway guys, once I have done this, I will then clear cap all of these nails and then I will file and buff them into shape. Then it's time to dust it all off. I've gone over with some acetone. I'm just getting any loose dust that's on there off that practice hand before coming in with CJP gripper glue, some shaped gems, some clear gems, and then some the light like off white and pink. And there's little pearls in there. It's like a little a little dish that I've got of all these beautiful gems. So I am going to put down the glue. And I'm going to place some of these gems on this finger. So there's a beautiful heart in there. So that's going on the middle finger. And then I will put a few small gems around the tip. That will protect, if that was on a client, that would actually protect the client from getting a hair caught or anything else on the point of that heart. And then I'll do some descending sizes of gems coming down that nail then that will be the point to done We will then move on to the ring finger. I'm just going to put three gems on the cuticle area there. So a slightly larger one in the middle and then two descending sizes, one on each side. Just nudge that gently into place. Then I'm gonna move on to the little finger when I've stopped fuffing and I'm just going to put one on its own at the cuticle area. Now with this glue you don't need a lot. The brush it picks up loads and I have to keep scraping it off. I have figured that one out. You put too much it just slides all over and it takes ages to set up. You just need a really really small amount. Once I'm happy with that I'm then going to go on to the pointer I'm going to quite put quite a bit of glue across here because I'm going to come in with some shapes again. 
I'm going to do a trail of gems diagonally across this nail. So I'm going to put them there on the flattest part of the nail and the widest and then like before put two little pearls on either side where the point is to stop anything getting caught on that so it's wearable it's all right looking pretty but we've got to wear it guys so i will finish this trail of gems in a diagonal across in exactly the same way as before popping down the glue nudging around these gems and making sure i'm perfectly happy with the placement of where they're going to be Then on a small tray, I'm going to put a bit of this top coat and with a detailer brush, I'm going to go around all of these gems. This serves two purposes. One, that shiny top coat will get all the way around those gems, not on them, just around them. And it will also help to seal that in. Make sure that they don't fall off. So I'll go around with this detailer brush and I'll go around all the gems. Then I will get the top coat itself and I will finish off these nails with a layer of CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. Then guys, that's the end of the video. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this design today. If you have, please take a moment and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. As always, I will list everything below in the detailed description box for you. If you do have any questions or comments, please pop them below. I love to hear from you and I do try to answer all of you. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for tuning in today. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.